Hey guys, it's Peachy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make a romantic tutu costume. I made mine for the Ocean and Pearls variation, which I performed with a friend at a dance festival. My costume took me about two months to make because I did everything by hand and it took me a while to figure out how to actually make the costume. But I highly suggest that you don't do this without a sewing machine because it will take forever. I feel like I aged about 10 years making this costume. So if you're ready, let's get to it. And I want to give huge thanks to Natalie Danza for making a great tutorial. I'm mainly following her instructions for the skirt and I think her video is super awesome and you should totally go check it out. So for the skirt, you will need lots of tulle. I made mine four layers, but you can add more if you wish. You will need four 1.5 by 1.5 meter squares to make each layer. So in total, I got six meters by 1.5 meters of tulle. So like Natalie, I'm folding the tulle layers in half like this. And then once more to create this shape. Then to cut it into a circle, just make a mark right here and then cut it into a rounded edge. Then just fold your fabric in half and then cut off the tip of the triangle to make a hole for the waist. I recommend cutting 10 centimeters to start and then slowly making it wider to fit your body. The hole should be large enough so that you can slide the skirt over your butt when you try it on. Then I'm just cutting a line through the circle so that the tool layer is easier to sew on. Afterwards, you want to take your tool layer and pin it to your elastic band at four different spots. And in between those four pin spots, you want to sew the tool layer on by making folds like this. Pinning the tool down in four spots will help you sew the tool folds on more evenly. To save time, you can sew more than one layer at once. Then for the lining material, I found the satiny aqua blue fabric and for the inner layer of the skirt, you'll just need 1.5 by 1.5 meters of fabric. Then you can do the same thing that you did with the tool layer to cut it into a circle. So then when I had to attach the lining to the elastic band, I ran into a lot of trouble because I had no idea how to attach it on without creating multiple folds like I did for the tool layer because I didn't want there to be a lot of ripples throughout the skirt. My material is not stretchy at all so I don't think that I could have sewed it like how Natalie did and she was using a sewing machine which I didn't have. So I kind of just pressed the fabric to the band and sewed randomly. And it did not turn out well because it was super messy, but lucky for me, the tool layer made it really hard to tell. So if I were to redo this, I would not sew the tool layers onto the elastic band first. I think a better way to add a lining material that isn't stretchy would be to make a tube at the top of the skirt where an elastic band could be inserted, kind of like the waistband in sweatpants. And this way, there wouldn't be too many folds in the skirt. You'll just need to make a small cut at the center of the hole and the cut should be a little bit longer than the width of the elastic. Then just fold down the fabric from the center and make a running stitch along the circle. This will make like a tube encasing for the elastic band which then you can insert and then you can just sew the elastic bands together. Then once you're done just follow the same steps as I mentioned earlier to sew down the tool layer. So this is what the skirt looked like when I was done and now I'm doing a slow motion twirl for you guys of the entire costume. So I'm really sorry that I don't have better footage of the second method. I had told my friend to make it this way because mine turned out super sketchy looking but hopefully the instructions are still clear enough so that I can make a great looking skirt. And if you want to see how I made the top part of the dress, just click on part 2 which I'll link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.